Hey guys, uh, Chris here, back from CNA Small, and you got another quick video here for you guys. Uh, I got a tool here my father purchased probably about, uh, I think about 20, 25 years ago. It still has the uh, Tecumseh logo on here for reference points because you can see the uh, polish. It has a, uh, uh, the uh, newer uh, politically correct uh, Tecumseh logo on this one right here specifically for that because the older logo, the older Indian logo was uh, deemed to be uh, disrespectful of Indians so they changed the logo about 15, 20 years and uh, they had this new logo like a pre-2008 that had like a little like a fan, uh, it, it looks like a fan blade basically and what I got in front or in front of here is the actual uh, unit here, it's the tool, it's called a tray sip uh, it's a RPM gauge. Basically, what you do is you put this thing on top of your uh, engine, and uh, how it works is uh, you uh, dial it in on here. They have a uh, two areas where you can actually look on here for the actual vibration on here. What this thing does is you have a, a setting on here where this wire comes out of the side right here, and when you have it sitting on top of the machine, the wire will vibrate at a certain frequency. And when you when you check the RPMs for your machine. You want to crank it all the way back because typically uh, most lawnmowers uh, they run at about 3,000 RPMs, and when you get down to about 3,000 RPMs, like I'll show you here, crank it all the way over, it's like so. So now it is at the 3,000 uh, 3, RPM setting right there for that. Let's see if can get a better shot here before we zoom in here a little bit better. Let me see here. There we go. That's about three. You can probably barely see it there, but it is it is on there. You can see a 3000. What happens is when this thing goes all the way out on here, depending on the RPMs where your engine is at, this whole thing vibrates back and forth. They'll have a real wide uh, vibrating uh, arm. It'll be going back and forth like that while it's vibrating back and forth. And that's how you can figure out what the RPM is for your engine right there specifically. Uh, most, like I said before, most uh, lawnmowers, they typically uh, you know, have like a uh, 3,000, 20, it's, it's, I say between uh, 28 to about 3,100 for most machines out there. And this thing will basically tell you uh, what speed the engine is running at without even having any kind of, uh, you know, diagnostic tools or any kind of tools that require electronics or batteries. So all you do is put this on top of the machine and you uh, turn the wheel. And then while this thing starts vibrating on here, it'll, it'll vibrate probably about, uh, I'd say about a good inch and a half almost two inches so you'll have like a sweet spot where this whole thing will be going back and forth like so and you can see how uh well it performs here i gotta put my camera down here for it and i'll go ahead and start up a machine over here and i'll show you how this uh thing um specifically functions guys so bear with me here for a couple seconds while i get my uh, machine ready to go and i'll do a demonstration of this uh trace it uh rpm machine here made in germany and this thing is ideal for you know just doing a quick check of your um, RPMs on a given machine out there for that guy. So bear with me here for a couple of seconds while I put my camera down here and I'll go start the machine up and you can see how this machine will function on a lawnmower, lawnmower we have sitting in our garage here, guys. Hold on. Okay, we're back here again. We'll demonstrate the uh, tool here. That's it. Here we go. It's out work. right there 
I have the uh, RPM uh, number set on about it's about 30 it's about 31 right now on the actual uh, gauge right there so this thing's all the way out and when you look at the actual reading on here it'll say 31 because the uh, wire is flexing quite uh, wildly on her going back and forth like that and that's a unique way to uh, test the function and test the RPM of a given machine this thing's made in Germany it has a name right there made in Germany made by trace it here it's a back on here as well too trace it Germany so you can get this better shot here about the light sorry about that so you can zoom in here for you there you go you even have a website Anybody wants to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to a place where you can actually buy this uh, item online here. So if anybody wants to buy one, you can go ahead and uh, possibly purchase one for reference. So this has been a quick review for the uh, Tracet uh, tachometer machine used to uh, test various lawn and garden equipment over here if I do not have my uh, electronic tachometer machine, guys. So I'll see you.